Hi Virgo, thank you so much for stopping by. So I am here to do your love reading. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So we're going to go ahead and take a look here at what is going on for you in love, Virgo. I am hearing spirits say that some of you could find that you have uh, certain emotions crop up out of nowhere, I'm hearing. This might be something that you don't quite expect. It's like it comes out of nowhere. The Eight of Swords in reverse with the Queen of Swords Judgment in reverse coming up at the bottom um, of the deck as well. Yeah, I am feeling also here for the... Um, I'm just going to call it the collective, the collective twin flames. I'm getting that there is some severing of negative energy happening right now. But like I said, you could find that maybe it kind of crops up out of nowhere or you don't quite expect it. Um, I'm also hearing with the naked eye, you see something with the naked eye. With the Queen of Swords right in the middle, I'm also being shown an owl totem coming up. I feel like this is mainly the divine feminine energy. There's some type of illumination happening, okay? Illumination of our past actions and behaviors with the judgment card in reverse. And it feels like this is helping to set us free, is what I'm hearing. Helping to set free. And I feel like this is actually... Things that have been carried for a long time... When I look at the judgment card in reverse, spirits say that this has been actually carried for a very long time. Um, and I think that it's almost like spirits saying that when it crops up out of nowhere. So for example, you could be going about your day and maybe you kind of have this surge of, which happens a lot, you know, this wave of emotion or energies, whether or not it's attached to your twin flame. It could also just be that you feel it uh, coming from somewhere. This is in an effort for you to help to see certain behaviors and patterns in yourself so that you can almost like clear that and then move to the next and clear that and move to the next which is very much an ongoing journey an ongoing process um but i do feel this is also something that i feel has been causing you quite a bit of confusion it's like i'm being shown this queen of swords in the clouds the clouds are representing confusion so tell us a little bit more then, Spirit, about this. What is this about currently? I'm also being told that, uh, yeah, they bring me back to the message because I saw an evil eye. And when I see that, um, they're showing me a lot of hands in the way. A lot of, uh, yeah, Seven of Cups, Two of Pentacles in reverse. There's a lot of people, a lot of influences, a lot of hands is how they're showing it. Hands could just be a representation of any type of energy. But it's almost like this is causing a destructive, um, like, debris in the path. So this could go a variety of different ways, but what I'm being kind of shown is that there's uh, certain energies that need to be cut off and, and looked at from this owl's perspective with the Queen of Swords. Um, and when it comes to these types of connections too, I'm also being told that there's a lot of interfering energies. If you're not careful with protecting yourself and protecting your energy, I do feel like this could be susceptible, you could be susceptible to lower energies right now um, especially around this connection specifically and it feels like this is i'm hearing something about in an effort to keep you from seeing the truth eight of swords in reverse again showing up twice so it's like i think that th i'm getting so many different kind of energies here but the main thing i'm picking up on is I'm also hearing generational patterns, generational curses. Um, so there's a lot happening right now. And it's important, again, to remain grounded and centered, regardless of what is happening. It depends on where you're at and what you have going on um, currently. But it's the, the feeling with the, it's almost like with the Seven of Cups, energies are trying to butt their heads into either your connection or just into your energy as a feminine for most of you or divine masculine whatever you want to label it as um and i feel like with the magician here coming up as well this is spirit and your guides wanting you to focus on your own 
magician's energy right now because because of these complications and because of these distractions um, again I feel like it, it could be easy for you to kind of lose sight or lose track of your own energy and your own um, the Empress reverse your own sense of kind of grounded so I do feel like this is the uh, divine feminine side in this situation right now that's being told to keep your head above the water I'm hearing so however you could feel that if you feel drowning in certain emotions um, some of you also with the crown chakra may need to work on opening or balancing your crown chakra seven of cups again showing out the bottom because again I feel like this can cause I'm hearing that you very much, when you're very intuitive, when you're very aware, which I think you are innately with the Queen of Swords, but when you're very aware of your surroundings, when you're very self-aware of your energy, it's much easier to discern where is there something off or where is there maybe a psychic attack or where do I need to have better boundaries. But when you are imbalanced, you kind of almost get caught in this whirlwind um, and that's what's coming up here that and that's why it's important to focus on cleansing and balancing I'm hearing re-collaborating as well your crown chakra the word compassion is coming up as well and I do feel like this could be also with the Empress in reverse there's a need to also invite in more compassion at this time for the situation and for the journey that you're on because this will also help to soften the energy and help to invite more clarity through your crown chakra as well because there's very much of a resistance i'm hearing it's uh, kind of like swimming against the stream something at the moment and so there needs to be a letting go of resistance is there anything else spirit that needs to come up right now for anybody on the twin flame journey here that's watching this reading the moon confront i'm actually being told um they're telling me the word time travel but the way it's coming up is that this could be a variety of different things i'm getting that you could either be going back again the judgment card in reverse I'm getting that you could either be going back into past experiences in this lifetime, you know, maybe asking yourself or thinking about memories or um, re-evaluating certain decisions that you've made. This could also go for your counterpart as well. But I do feel like there's this energy of um, possibly even going to past lifetimes as well. Something is being needing to clear at a soul level as well with the moon here. So I feel like I'm also hearing you don't know what you've got until it's gone. So this can also be... Yeah. There's so much energy coming through. It's like I'm getting somebody's clutter around their... Again, their throat chakra. Uh, I kind of feel like this is both counterparts um it's like there's a feeling of going back to the past and wondering what did i have at that point and did i appreciate what i had at that point so there very much could be some waves of regret um and various emotions that are washing over here and i feel like this is also why it's going back to the same message about it's important to be mindful of clearing that energy so that so that it's not so cluttered and condensed so i'm also being told that one or both could be going through confronting their childhood or even their parents uh something about that in their life where Things have held them back, the world. Uh, again, I don't know who this is, but it's it's really just coming through as the energy overall. So it can resonate with, with anyone um, for this. But I do feel like it's kind of confronting 
again, maybe like on a soul level, where have I been held back when it comes to my own success? And around the throat chakra, there's so much like condensed energy around that area, starting from the throat, third eye, and the crown. But this is just right now because of this temporary confusion and kind of like what I'm feeling right now in the reading. It's like there's many different things coming from all angles, many different messages and energies coming from different angles. Uh, and this is probably because of this confusion that someone's faced with. So it's like if we don't have an outlet for it, then it kind of gets stuck. Um, and so I feel like that's what's happening right now. So take that how that will apply for you. So is there anything else, Spirit, right now for the Twin Flame Collective that they need to know? Again, Eight of Swords Reverse, Throat Chakra. I'm also hearing Spirit say, I don't want to let this pass me by. Okay, or someone's saying that I don't want to let this pass me by. And I feel like this is... Again, someone has a block here. And it's almost like on a soul level, they don't want this to be forever. I hope I'm explaining this in a way that makes sense. Like they don't want to be blocked forever, obviously. They don't they feel almost like what if I never get out of this feeling? What if I never get out of this confusion? Or what if I never get out of this challenging situation? Or what if I never have the opportunity to move forward and have success so i definitely pick up here quite a bit of a what's the word for it? a bit of a kind of i guess you can say challenging energy when it comes to the confront confronting of the self and confronting of i'm hearing the missing pieces so it's a very it's almost like we're going down a rabbit hole here is how it feels so I think that you could feel that way. Maybe whoever resonates with this, you could feel that way right now. Um, and I'm also hearing take charge, okay? Take charge of the situation. Don't let it take charge of you. See, hold your vision. I'm actually being told too, this is especially heightened right now, uh, during this time, during these uh, very intense energies that we're going through, uh, especially starting in the last like two weeks or so, two and a half weeks. This is why it feels a little bit more um, heavy than usual, or a little bit more confusing than usual. I can't think of the right word for this, cluttered, confusing, scattered. Um, but with the hold your vision, I feel like this is saying that I'm also being told the month of March. So that could be when something happens or when something sort of takes off in the month of March. Yeah, they're telling me in the month of March or close to that time, there's going to be a beginner's mind, something that you're going to begin again. You're going to be able to start again. You're going to be able to, you know, however this is, maybe start something new again or um, allow for fresh new energy to take place to where things can actually be moved forward. Is there anything else, Spirit, right now that we need to know? I'm hearing somebody say that regardless of how challenging this is, I wouldn't trade it for anything, is what I'm hearing. So I don't know if someone's saying that. Uh, so it's like kind of an, a, a level of appreciation for the challenges, regardless of how difficult it can feel at times. We have your hard work is paying off. Yes, this is around January, I believe it would be. Your hard work is paying off. Making better choices, Spirit's saying. So I feel like as a collective here, both the masculine and feminine, just because it really goes, you know, we both have that energy within ourselves. Um, your hard work is paying off. There's going to be a a 
yeah, yeah, making better choices. I forgot what I said. Yeah, making better choices. Let's see, what else? Yeah, step out of your comfort zone, North Node. And I actually just posted a reading too on my other channel and it was talking, the first card that came out was playing it safe. So I feel like there's this energy of also it's time to step out of our comfort zone. It's time to expand. It's time to grow. I'm also hearing it's time to confront these kind of old parts of ourselves that hadn't been confronted in a while. And again, this goes for both you know, masculine and feminine energies. So let's see if there's any final messages here that Spirit wants to bring through. Because I think the main focus here of what they wanted to, to tell this reading, these, the, the collective here, um, has a lot to do mainly with dealing with these dense energies at the moment and having to, um, again, make better choices and to kind of be able to see clearly, to be able to get through this like muddy energy so that this over here can start again, especially starting in January to March of 2023. Yeah, I'm hearing untangling yourself, getting untangled. So there's very much of an untangling uh, process happening right now. And this feels tangled. This feels like a tangled situation. It feels like a jumble of different energies that I'm hearing can stop us, can keep us constipated is the word they're using. So kind of, yeah. So is there any final message here, please, Spirit, for this reading that needs to come through? Also, I'm hearing that, uh, I think I said it in the beginning, though, there's, there's very much of a connection to this. Uh, I'm hearing that there's people around these the situation that cannot be trusted anymore and i feel like this is starting to be revealed slowly you know maybe it's even as simple as telling a friend or telling somebody that uh you think you can trust okay or your counterpart thinks they can trust and it's like actually that's not these people are not trustworthy i'm hearing these people have been planted here so, and I'm also hearing too, it's about feeling worthy for more, feeling worthy. The main kind of advice here from Spirit is that right now it's about feeling worthy that we can be more. And when I say we, again, it's like just both energies. Um, that we can be more, that we can deserve more, that we can deserve to be more, to have more, to experience more. Um, but first, I'm hearing we have to take a look at the, the hidden spots because if these spots are not addressed first, then it's hard to make progress. See, manifestation, there's very much of a feeling of, I'm hearing the floodgates, the floodgates opening of positive energy of the next wave, the next chapter I'm hearing. I'm seeing somebody uh, going to like a, a shaman here. I don't know if someone's doing this and they're getting like almost, what is it? Almost like a uh, shaking all the energy that has been accumulated. Like I said, this is very like dense, heavy, um, especially around, it's like, it's even hard to put into words. It's starting at the top, it's starting with the crown and then it's sort of in the middle is feeling stuck, but it's mainly around the upper chakras. 
and I'm seeing somebody get this cleared from their system to finally feel free again, I'm hearing, to finally feel vulnerable again is the word too, to feel accepting and deserving with holy love. So that's, that's what's coming up here. So I hope that this could resonate with somebody. I hope this could help you if you find yourself on this, on this journey. And yeah, thanks so much for tuning in. Have a great evening and lots of love.